Hello friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about drugs used in gout. Gout is nothing but the metabolic disorder characterized by hyperuricemia. When blood levels of uric acids are high, it precipitates and deposits in joint, kidney and subcutaneous tissue. Now gout is divided into acute and chronic gout. We are classifying acute and chronic gout here because treatment of both are different. So let us discuss treatment of acute and chronic gout separately. First of all acute gout. The first drug which is used for acute gout are NSAIDs that is non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs and the drug of choice is indomethacin which is usually given at dose of 50 mg. Other NSAIDs which can be used are naproxen, diclofenac and itericoxib. If patient is not improving with NSAIDs, steroids can be started. Usually intra-articular steroids are preferred but patient is not responding, systemic steroids can be started. Usually we start with prednisolone orally which is 40 to 60 mg per day. Then the next and very famous drug is colchicine. It is most effective drug because it provides rapid relief of symptoms. But it is not drug of choice because of its side effects that we will discuss in few minutes. Then what is mechanism of colchicine? It inhibits release of chemotactic factors and thereby suppressing the inflammatory process. It also inhibits granulocyte migration into the inflamed joint. Colchicine also inhibits microtubules which is required for chemotaxis. And chemotaxis is nothing but the migration of leukocytes which is required for inflammation to occur. So, by inhibiting it, colchicine decreases inflammation. Now coming to its toxicity, it usually causes GI symptoms that is nausea, vomiting and diarrhea. But it can also cause bone marrow problem like aplastic anemia, agranulocytosis etc. Rarely, colchicine may produce alopecia. Remember friends, colchicine has no effect on serum uric acid levels. Friends, if you are preparing for NEET PG or any other competitive exams, the all points discussed are important MCQ points. Now coming to treatment of chronic gout. The drugs for chronic gout are divided into following three parts. First of all, drug which blocks the uric acid synthesis. Then uricosuric drugs, that is drugs which increases excretion of uric acid and uricase analogs. We will discuss each of them separately. First of all, drugs which block uric acid synthesis. The first and famous drug which every first year MBBS student will be knowing because it is covered in biochemistry lectures also, which is allopurinol. It is competitive inhibitor of xanthine oxidase, which is rate limiting enzyme for uric acid synthesis. It is drug of choice for chronic gout. Its side effects include hypersensitivity, that is rash, fever, etc. Its dose is 100 mg OD, but it can be gradually increased to 300 mg OD but one should not exceed 600 mg per day. Then another drug in this category is febuxostate. It is non-purine inhibitor of xanthine oxidase. It is well absorbed orally and oxidized and glucuronized in liver and excreted in kidney. So its main side effect is liver damage. If you are starting patient on febuxostate, monitoring of liver function test is necessary. Its dose is usually 40 to 80 mg per day. One common side effect of allopurinol and febuxostate is xanthine stones. Next class of drugs are uricosuric drugs. These drugs increases uric acid excretion by inhibiting tubular reabsorption of uric acid in kidney. It is preferred when xanthine oxidase inhibitors are not effective or not tolerated. Drugs in this group include sulfapyrazone, probenecid, benzbromarone, lecinuride and losartan. Remember friends, Losartan is angiotensin receptor blocker which has uricosuric property. Usually we use probenacid in this category. So just remember the dose of probenacid. It is started at 0.25 gram BD and can be increased to 0.5 gram BD. Then last is uricase analogs. First of all, what this uricase enzyme do? It converts uric acid into allantoin which can be freely excreted in urine. But the problem is Uricase enzyme is not present in humans, it is usually present in birds. So they prepared uricase analogs and the drugs are rasburicase and peglotecase. And rasburicase is approved for tumor lysis syndrome. And these both drugs are given intravenously, that is parenteral route. And the side effects include hypersensitivity, they cause hemolysis in patients with G6PD deficiency and methoglobinemia. So friends, this is the summary of treatment of gout. You can take screenshot if you want.
So friends, this was all about this video. I hope you like the content. Do like and subscribe our channel and also share it among your friends. Do watch our other videos on various topics. Thank you.